Hi everybody, this is Mike from Wingman RC and today on Wingman RC TV I'm going to show you how to make a lightweight control rod using some carbon fiber and some Kevlar thread. What you want to do is you get your carbon fiber rod you scratch it up just a little bit with the sandpaper and then you want to do the same thing to your end. And you get your Kevlar thread, you want to separate out one of the strands. This is some three strand Kevlar thread that we're using today. And you take your end Grab your thread, hold it, lay them right next to each other, and then just wrap it really tightly and real evenly. The uh, scratches that you made with the sandpaper allow that uh, Kevlar thread just to melt right into the uh, into the surface there. When you get to the end, what you want to do is you want to pull it through in between the uh, rod and the carbon fiber. And then when you get to this end, you want to do the same thing take this end and pull it in between the metal and the carbon fiber. That's really nice and tight now. Then you take your scissors. That looks really good. Then you take your scissors, you trim off the ends. Best you can that carbon fiber and the Kevlar is kind of tricky to cut. Okay, then you get your um, piece of heat shrink tubing. You slip it over. You get ready. And then you take your super glue or CA whatever you got and you apply it a generous coating to your um, Kevlar thread and then quickly slip the uh, heat shrink over it and then heat the heat shrink up with your heat gun and when that heat shrink draws down it'll squish out any of the excess glue and it'll help that uh, CA set and you'll have yourself one tight little uh, control rod. When, if you have any little threads that there at the end just trim them off with a razor when you get done and and it's one neat way to go and very lightweight. Thanks for watching.